Why are we really all here? Hello, Spider-Men, Wonder Woman, and Transformers. Daily Grace here for Mightum Channel Live! Yeah! I have three, count them, three wonderful guests with me today. Lorraine Sink, Sandeep Parikh, and Mickey Hawtrey. But before we meet our guests, let's kick off the show with MFCFLTS. My favorite comment from last Tuesday's show! It comes from Dread Fonnelly, which sounds like some sort of sexual maneuver in a very sad, sad way. Does vlogging help you discover things about yourself? Oh yeah. It helps me discover my zits on my face, um, everything I hate about the cadence of my voice, uh, how dirty my apartment is, um, how slowly I actually talk in real life from time to time. It's just, it's really, if you ever want to figure out all of your flaws, try vlogging. Try it, it's really, really great. And if you can't figure them out, the best part about it is that the audience will tell you. So win, win for everyone involved. You get to see it firsthand or see it in the comments. It's really, I highly recommend it. Speaking of things I highly recommend, it's this first guest. Please welcome from Marvel's The Watcher, Lorraine Sink. I was supposed to clap. I forgot to clap. I got so excited. Yeah, they forgot to clap too. That's okay. The best kind of clap is a clap that's been forgotten. So, Lorraine. Antibiotics. <laughs> yeah. uh, Lorraine, for those people out there that don't know what The Watcher is, because they're idiots, explain it, please. The Watcher is a weekly news program brought to you by Marvel Comics, and it's all about what's happening in Marvel Entertainment and comics for that week. Every Wednesday, what's hitting the stacks and all that kind of stuff and fun ways for the audience to interact with us at Marvel. That's awesome. Yeah. She said the word stacks, cue boob jokes. Go for it, guys. I knew you were doing it anyway. Uh, and Lorraine and I also, fun fact, perform on the same improv team called Borealis hey. every Friday night at the People's Improv Theater at 8 p.m. Except for the next two Friday nights. For some reason, there's been a flub in scheduling. So but that. October 26th, we'll be back. Oh, yeah, with the, our Halloween show. Yeah. Which will be super, super fun. How fun. Um, now, Lorraine is an amazingly knowledgeable comic book aficionado, so I thought we'd try and answer some of your wonderfully geeky questions yeah. that you have put in the comments or have tweeted to us. So let's do some internet Q&A. The first question comes from Dominic Marola. Are you more attached to superheroes or supervillains? Or attracted, sorry. Ooh, attracted? Attracted. Attracted. You know what, I'm gonna I see what the brain wants. <laughs> you know they say that? Okay. I would say I have to go with superheroes. I don't know if you've seen a lot of supervillains lately. Not that foxy as they used to be, maybe. Oh. Like, Red Skull doesn't even have skin on his face. No, um, that's not, yeah, girls are attracted to skin. Good skin. Not, so, yeah. that's what I would definitely say superheroes. I would say... Chris Hemsworth in anything. Yeah. He could be good, he could be bad. Or or uh, Captain America, Chris Evans, I, either. Oh yeah, that butt, that butt is its own superhero. That's my favorite superhero is Captain America's butt. It's a good one. I went and saw uh, the Marvel Avengers at yeah. uh, <laughs> Madame Tussauds in real life and oh you get God. to stand next to them. And I'm gonna be honest, I felt weird feelings for wax figurines, but it's they okay. Were great. Adult toys, right? At least it's better than like the guys that have those real dolls. That real doll documentary. Don't recommend that. Let's take another <laughs> comment. This is from Jimmy James. Have you guys met any famous celebrity superheroes? I got to interview Chris Hemsworth for Attack of the Show. And he held up a picture of my face to his face, and I had to say, it was for Snow White and the Huntsman, and I had to say, mirror, Grace face, Grace face on the Hemsworth, who's the prettiest one of them all. And then I forced him to say Grace, and it was magic. And then he went to lunch. <laughs> so it was a really great interview. Check it out. Did he, um, did he hold the picture facing his face so he had to look into your eyes? No, I wish he held it the right way. He held it facing out. What a, an opportunity lost. Ugh. But there's a GIF of it somewhere on the internet. Um, I actually got to meet uh, Andrew Garfield when they were doing Amazing Spider-Man, Press Junket, as well as Emma Stone. <gasps> 
and they are both lovely. Uh, I knew it! I knew they'd both be great! And he taught me how to thwip. I thwip. <laughs> Spider-Man thwips his oh, lips. I thought it was like Excuse how to whip children with lisps. <laughs> but that's also another that. thing. There's an idea for you, Internet. Go forth and prosper with that. Uh, that's, I, they're a great couple. I think that they're great. They're real adorable, I'm gonna be honest. I know, it's like you, you sometimes see attractive men in Hollywood and you hate their girlfriends for it, being their girlfriends, and I just, I can't. Nope, adorable. I can't. Ah, it sucks in the best, most beautiful way. Let's take another comment. This is from Mr. Ahmed Muntz. Are you Team Iron Man or Team Hulk? Very hard and serious oh. question. That is a very hard and that serious so question. Hard. I'm Team Hulk. Mark Ruffalo was just really great. He played him, right? Yep. Yep. Okay. Good job. Yep. <laughs> just throwing names out there. I'm gonna go ahead and say I'm also Team Hulk. I think Tony Stark is amazing. He's so smart and amazing and so He's many got ways. Gwyneth. But you have to love Hulk's sort of tragedy of yeah. Bruce Banner. He's such an underdog, whereas Tony Stark has like everything handed to him yes. on a silver platter, right? I was trying to construct a tweet the other day about how Hulk can probably never wear a condom because he just Hulk out of them. <laughs> it didn't work out. So there's another nugget for you guys. Go make that into something. Let's take another comment. This is from Rocker Person 111. Who's your favorite superhero? It's hard because I feel hmm. like um, it's always tempting to be wooed away by other superheroes, but I'm gonna go with Amazing Spider-Man has <gasps> always been my favorite. Why? Um, well, the whole thing about <laughs> Amazing Spider-Man is he's like the first kind of teenage superhero, real yeah. underdog, like somebody I think that everyone can sort of see themselves as. And yeah. he loves Mary Jane, who's a ginger. Oh, guys. A lot of people ginger. can relate to that. Aww. A lot of very specific people can relate to that. <laughs> um, like 2% of the population. <laughs> My favorite superhero, uh, does John from Garfield cartoons count? Because he put up with a lot, <laughs> you know? I think that might be my favorite. Uh, let's take another <laughs> comment. This is from the Fruity Rach. If Honey Boo Boo was a superhero, what do you think she could be? What would you name her? Her name already is kind of like a superhero name, Honey Boo Boo. Yeah. Uh, but what would she do? Like, what would be her superpowers? Um, her voice, I think, would be so loud and penetrating that it would, like, cripple everyone yeah. in a mile radius. I think when she showed her belly, people would just turn to stone. And what you do with the stone, I don't know, <laughs> but it seems like it'd be a helpful tool. And hours of your time would just disappear. Yeah, also... When she appears. Yeah, like, exactly. where did my life go for the last hour? <laughs> exactly. Also, instead of webs, she can shoot Skeddy out of her <laughs> hands. <laughs> and then a myriad of ketchup and butter. Did you watch that episode? They make Skeddy is their signature dish at home, and they top it with a mixture of ketchup and butter. Right? Okay, let's take another comment. <laughs> this is from Sarah Shipley. If you had a normal superpower, like being unable to burn food or something, what would you choose? Ooh. I always say my superpower, I've said this on this show before, would be that I would never have to take a shit in public. I'd always be in a safe place when I had to have a bowel movement. And I think that would be very helpful. I still think that that would be very useful. I would just have the ability to never be late for <gasps> anything. Like, I would just somehow always make it. That's a really good one. I like that one. Oh, oh yeah, I and mean, we couldn't get pregnant uh, unwantedly. Um, <laughs> let's take another comment. This is from B Flones. Which superhero do you think is the most useless? What did Rogue do? She sucks. She sucks. <laughs> yeah, <right? laughs> not only does she prove that a giant white street looks good in no one's hair, right? She's got that pew. Um, but what does she do? She like sucks people's things from them? Yeah, for their powers. Yeah. She literally sucks. She does. <laughs> Gosh, I feel like Squirrel Girl. I mean, I what? love Squirrel Girl. Who is this? She's a squirrel girl. She has a big fluffy tail. Um, I mean, here's the thing. She <laughs> has defeated Doctor Doom, which means that she she has some clear ability, but right. she seems so 
point. I say that with so much love, you Does guys, cosplayers like, out there. Does she like bury her leggings one winter and then goes back and can't find out where she buried them the next winter? Mm -hmm, always. Always. Cause Squirrel Girl, whoever came up with that was having a real slow day that day. Anyway, <laughs> thank you, Lorraine, so, so yeah. much for being here. Where can these beautiful Gungans find you on the internet? Sure, you can check me out at youtube.com slash Marvel. And you can also find me at Lorraine Sink or on Tumblr, also lorrainesink.tumblr.com. And you will be at Comic-Con this weekend. Yes, I will. I will be there all day, every day at wow. the Marvel booth. Come see me and say hello. Yes. I might have free swag for you. <gasps> oh, Think my about God. It. Hashtag Squirrel Girl! <laughs> okay, now to get you guys in the mood for Mickey and Sandeep, my next guest, check out this clip from Save the Supers. We'll be right back. Get out of here, Lorraine. You have super speed and you can and you can fly anywhere. Yeah. What do you need a Camaro for? It's American. And it feels good. Down there. Bitchin'. In my balls. So the car has like over 400 horsepower, which is like half of me power. It's pretty awesome. Oh, and the hood is really wide. I plan on having lots of sex on it. With you. Yeah, no, that's not happening. Are you sure about it? Definitely sure. Are you sure about that? Seriously, I'm gonna punch you in the face. Uh huh, that's how it starts. Where in my face? I like it on the forehead. And that's where it'll be. Great. You're giving me what I want. Have Al and I ever hooked up? If we haven't, we should. It's weird. I know I was having sex with someone. I'm pretty sure it was her. No, we have. And we will. You should watch. Skitty. Just kidding. Uh, from the Guild, Legend of Neil, and My Dumb Channel's very own Save the Supers, please welcome Sandy Parikh and Mickey Hawtrey. Whoa! Morning. Surprise! Morning. Oh. They, uh, they, if you didn't know, we rehearsed that. they uh, are very good dancers. Yeah, that's very true. acrobatic. Mm -hmm. Now, Only uh, on the ice. Only on the ice? Ice dancers. Ice dancers. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, so we progressive. We didn't practice that once. Mm -mm. That was beautiful. Wow. Okay, New so. Question. Oh, when did uh, do, do, do you yeah. do gymnastics? Uh, I did. Really? Yeah. When what you were a younger? weird, random question for you to ask. Yes, I did. For I did. 14 also. years I did gymnastics. Really? Yeah, I did. What was your favorite event? Uh, I liked floor. Okay. I, I had power in my legs, and then when I quit gymnastics, I became a high jumper. Nice. So. Mine was high bar. Really? Yeah, because I like to fly. Oh my god. Mm -hmm. Speaking of flying, segue, let's talk about Save the Supers. Let's. let's. Now, for these idiots out here that don't know what it is, let's give them a little info. Well, it's a show on this very network. Oh, my God. Um, and it's about superheroes mm -hmm. and what would happen in a world where, like our world, if superheroes existed and they were facing the same economic shitty crisis that we're facing, their budget slashed, and they're facing layoffs. <gasps> And so we sort of uh, we sort of parody the Justice League. Oh. So it's a little bit of Justice League meets The Office. And Mickey plays World Man. How nice. Yes. Now He's... you guys were telling me this before the show that you have known each other for like eight years, nine years? For a long time, yeah. And so, but you shot the pilot for this. There was a previous incarnation that we shot. Mm -hmm. uh, it was totally, it was the first thing I did when I moved out to LA was, uh -huh. I'm gonna just make something. Right. Like I didn't know what else to do. You're so an I like, artist. I'm like, a, I'm like totally an artist, yeah. man. And I just had to make. Uh, and then I, you know, so I, I came up with this idea uh -huh. after seeing the British version of The Office, and I was like, oh, this would be really fun, like kind of to, to do British a send up. Version. The British yeah. version yeah. to be. So we, we all had so, English accents. Right. <laughs> yeah. Indeed. Uh, indeed, we did. That wasn't an English yes. accent. Uh, exactly. yeah. Hello, Governor. Yeah, there you go. Uh, even talk like Sean Connery. Yeah, that's I know. That's Scottish. really good. Sure. That's really, really good. Uh, I'm going to hit that a lot. Hit that a lot. <laughs> and so I uh, cast Mickey as mm -hmm. our World Man character eight years ago. And then when I redid it for uh -huh. the My Name Channel, I he cast him. I'm like, are you still? Yeah. Can, you, can you fit in this bandex? Yeah. And he was slimmer and stronger. Wow. 
Oh, so you're like retro world man, brought right. back to life. I'm, I'm uh, Benjamin Buttoning. Oh my mm -hmm. God, you're like a cordless phone. They're coming back oh, for those really? phones. Yeah, okay. I think so. We can bring them back. <laughs> Uh, anyway, we asked you guys to ask us some questions, so now we're all going to answer them together. Yay. That's how this works. Let's take a comment. This is from Vastasia. Okay. If you were a superhero, what would your costume look like? I would definitely have a cape. Hmm. That's a great uh, first accessory. A cape is wonderful. I'm sensing a theme for this whole show. Oh, could it's you? It's very superhero heavy. It's capes. Oh, it's um, superheroes. Yeah. I'd have you... slimming boots. Slimming I have, boots. I have this. Thing with my cab. Yeah. Oh, yeah. okay. I would have wings even if I couldn't fly. Like wings, not yeah. a cape, like angel style. Beautiful, beautiful wings. Not the wings. first class angel, like the. You could be like super, metal wings. super ostrich. Metal wings. Yes. I have wings, but I oh. do not use them. So What's that? Archangel. Uh, yeah. Archangel. 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 Oh, okay. Like after he got fucked up but by. That. Getting through TSA would be a nightmare, am I right? right. <laughs> yeah, and I'd be brown still, so that would still be, it'd be doubly difficult. Doubly a nightmare. Yeah. Oh my God. I'd have sweatpants. It's never easy for me. Sweatpants? Yeah. Everyone wears spandex. That is not comfortable. Even leggings are not it's, that comfortable. I mean, you. We know. No. Yeah. Yeah. We wore a lot of spandex for our show, and That's it was right. not, it was very sweaty. Did you wear any man spanx? Manx? Manx. Manx. I didn't wear, I didn't know. But no, we did. No, no, no. No, no, no. So no, no. I wear them recreationally now. <laughs> right. Not in the spot. That yeah, we I cast very fit actors. That's very yeah. nice. That's a lot of pressure. Uh, let's take another question. What is this question? Is from I love Heather Jean. Okay, if you were on a deserted island, what three things would you bring? Um, a whole bunch of civilization. Okay, a whole bunch of it, just not like just a, a little bit. Yeah. Like a whole like, bunch of it. I'd bring New York City, so that's one. Okay, one. Because um, it's anything, right? Right. right. The people. Uh, it already okay. is a deserted island. It's true. Right. Oh. It's so. Emotionally. Existent. It's emotionally deserted here. Um, what would I really bring? Guys, I'd bring table tennis. Table tennis? I really love to play ping pong. Oh, really? Yeah. Are you very good at it? Not really, but I like to play it. It's one of those games that you can play sort of. Without thinking, it's true. A little bit, and you do can you like play, actually hold a conversation with people. While do you play the Wii version of it? No. No. I like th I like real things. The noise that a ping pong paddle makes on a ping pong ball is satisfying. Yeah. Oh, yeah. the Wii the Wii noise? No, or the no. Real in noise? real life, I mean. How how satisfying is it? Like it's like it's very it's like a. In your downstairs parts. Mm, okay. Not too far. Let's <laughs> do that over again. My upstairs parts. My your brain. Parts? It's satisfying in my brain. Mm -hmm. uh, but you didn't. Well, what are you gonna bring? Um, you guys. Oh my god! Aww, what a pandering answer. Oh my god! That's so sweet. <laughs> Got me good. Uh, but you get then two other things. One other thing. Oh, uh, one two other of us. thing. Um, paddles. Oh, paddles. Yeah. Oh, for the ping pong table. Yeah, because what? You're just gonna bring oh, the yeah. table and. And like a taco truck. Because I'd be. Yes. Like, I'm imagining Cause playing we... this because I did forget the I only the brought the table. Yeah. I'd bring a good attitude. Let's take Aww. another comment. This is from Joy Deja Vu 630. How did you get Seth Green to appear on Me the Super? Me the Super. <laughs> uh, they were yeah. typing so fast they had to just get <laughs> it so out. They're so excited about Seth Green. Seth Green. Yeah, the last episode, Seth we, Green, it plays the villain. Yeah, he played DJ Death. Yeah. And yeah, we um, stole him. <gasps> we stole him from a from a museum. Oh my god, you heisted Seth um, Green? No, we um uh our production designer, Greg Aronowitz, uh -huh. is an amazing production designer, and he had a relationship with Seth, and I knew and Claire. And it ended really badly. Yeah, it did. They broke up. Because <laughs> now he's with Claire Grant, uh -huh. who's from Team Unicorn, and uh, oh. who I know pretty well. Nice. And so we just, we wrote, I wrote the role and was like, let's get Seth and Claire for it, and they were perfect and awesome. Has he ever DJed before? I don't know, but he, he played it so real that yeah. I was like... Yeah, a quick study. Oh, uh, really? Yeah. I thought... I was like, man, he got so method. He was DJ Death. He brought yeah. down And he was a house. fantastic person and very funny. Oh, that's very yeah. sweet. So go watch the last episode, guys. Do it. He does a great job. Let's take a Twitter question, shall we? This is from It's Christ Mindset. Okay. Uh, what are you going to be for Halloween this year? Ooh, good question. Do you guys ha know what you're going to be? Uh, my my girlfriend really wants to go as Gungam style. 
How would that, that work means. in two parts? I don't really know. Oh, you can do I the think... elevator scene where she's the one that's doing this and then you're between her legs. Yeah. And then you just need to carry two doors that you can open and close in front of you. <laughs> Will you guys be our doors? <laughs> we can be your doors. Oh my God. I, I would totally love decided. to be a door. Be a door? He's a great actor. I was a window last year. Oh my god. <laughs> that would be a gr that would be a great Halloween costume. Just a door. Someone went <laughs> so as really um, mundane. Two years ago. I'm a tr uh, car trunk. Yeah, this guy went as a refrigerator door, and he had an actual. He was a sculptor in real life, and he had an actual refrigerator door that he carried around and had all these magnets on. And Amazing. great in theory, horrible in practice, because he just stood around with right. this giant door. I saw one. This one person uh -huh. that was, this is my favorite costume ever. They were dressed as the uh, Empire State Building, uh -huh. and she had a baby and dressed the baby up as King Kong. Nice. So uh -huh. her little baby was clinging to her Empire State Oh building. my god, that's so good. Incorporating the baby bump. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm going to Hollow Meme this year in Brooklyn, which is this celebration where everyone dresses as internet memes. And I think I'm going to be uh, unimpressed Michaela from the USA Gymnastics team. <laughs> Just nice. like that. I need to find a leotard, though. Gymnastics. Well, we, yeah. Gymnastics, you got any? Don't you have some old leotards? Oh, they were so, so bad. Back? It holes all down the arms on purpose. Very fashionable. Wow, those are trendy. Yeah, really good. They're coming back like the cordless phone. Everything. <laughs> Let's take another comment. This is from Glasses and TV. Spin the globe behind you and point to a spot. Make up a superhero name based on that place. Interactive. Oh, my God. The globe! The Ready, globe! You, I'll spin you point. Okay. All right. Teamwork. They're working together. What is it? What is it? Uh, it's just the ocean. The one part of the world that doesn't have anything. <gasps> what? What is uh, it? It's, what is it's it? like below. Let's do it again. That was do it again. Shit. It's a warm Should up. It's a warm up. <laughs> There you go. Where is it? Uh, I'm looking at uh, Montana. Billings, Montana. Billings, Montana. Billings, Montana. Um, He's a man that steals all of your money and makes you go bankrupt. Because he yes. gives you lots of bills. Yeah, because he, he gives you all the bills. generates bills. But he's a superhero? Um, he, for the government. Yeah, he yeah he works for the he's 1%. He's keeping the budget clean. Yeah, right. But he's beautiful because Montana is beautiful. Mm -hmm. And he's a rancher. Yeah, and he's really well manscaped because the landscape in Montana <laughs> is really beautiful. They're constantly shaving Montana. <laughs> All the time. Haven't you ever been there? Anyway, thank you guys so, so much for being here. And where can these Gungans find you guys on the internet? Why are they all Gungans? It's the Gungan army. Okay, uh -huh. cool. Mm -hmm. uh, well, we you can be, you can find the Save the Supers at SaveTheSupers.com, which will lead you right to the My Damn Panel, My Damn Channel or Panel page, Ooh, or MyDamnChannel.com slash Save the Supers. Yeah. You have to go in reverse. Um, and I'm at at Sunny Parik on Twitter. Ooh. I'm at Mickey Hawtrey right. on Twitter. All yeah. these things. Lorraine, get back over here. Join this Yay. party. Yay! Yay. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Did this show go faster than Wolverine in bed? He's pretty. He... <laughs> Segway. Uh, half of this table will be at Comic Con this weekend. I thought they were going to be there, but mm -hmm. turns out not the case. Not going to go. Um, it, Lorraine will be there all weekend. I will be at the G4 booth on Friday from noon to 1:30. If you want to come by and say hello, thank you guys so much for watching today. Uh, tomorrow on the show, Beth will be joined by. Leo and Julie Klausner. So do not forget to subscribe to Madam Channel so you don't miss the magic. And don't forget you can find me every other day of the week at madamchannel.com slash Tell Beth I said hi. Bye!